must be pretty happy about what's happening over there. As I said, 14-7, and seven, second best record in baseball. I know you're not going to gloat because there's a long season to go, but in terms of this specificity, Larry, must you and your organization resist the urge to gloat a little bit over the idea that changing the culture in this clubhouse, something that was talked about in the offseason, and a lot of people were skeptical and a lot of people scoffed, would actually have a positive impact on wins and losses? Well, yeah, it, it is in, in, in some sense a, a, an, a, an early victory, an early vindication of, a, of an approach. But as I think I've said to you guys before, we were never trying to get the, uh, the coolest guys in the class to form a fraternity mm-hmm. oh, in, in the clubhouse. What we were trying to do is get the good teammates who could uh, perform in the crucible that is Boston and, uh, and, and, and make this team um, – uh, likable and uh, but also good you know it, it just it, it, it talent is always a part of it but uh, Ben Charrington uh, and his staff made a concerted effort uh, to, uh, to to consider the personalities the uh, um, the team the, the well, it should be a, a noun for teamsmanship but the uh, the the kind of people that uh, we were getting uh, and uh, we were we, we that's proven to be a successful, at least part of a very successful start. The players talk about the chemistry quite freely, and and we, of course, as you guys said a minute ago, we saw it earlier in the in the way they reacted to this uh, crisis here here in Boston. These are not uh, disconnected automatons. These are guys who feel uh, feel a pride in playing for Boston and being in Boston. Yeah, you know what, Larry? We were asking this earlier. Twenty games. Is it too early to say? You know, every, this team's going to contend. And we said, yeah, that's too early. But is it too early to say chemistry matters, that the effort you made to put, you know, put good guys or good people or good character guys together in this clubhouse and hope it all blends, that that effort is paying off? No, I think I think you can say that after uh, after 21 games, you can't say uh, too much more about the ultimate success of the team right. because if the situation were reversed, we would be talking about how early it is in the season and how there's uh, you know, whatever the 93 percent of the season remaining to be played or whatever the percentage might be. Uh, so uh, I, I don't think you can draw too many conclusions, but one conclusion you can draw is that the people who are in that clubhouse uh, feel a certain connectedness to each other. And, and it's not just the players, it's the other guys in uniform, too. The coaching staff and, of course, John Farrell, the manager, have done a, uh, a terrific uh, job in, in, in bringing these personalities together and and, uh, and showing a sense of unity themselves and how they've interacted. Larry, would you have won that game last year? Would you have won last night's game, yesterday afternoon's game, last year? It's hard to, uh, it's hard to no, imagine it at this point that we could have had the kind of relief pitching that was uh, necessary to win that game. Uh, the need to foster and nurture uh, that, that whatever you want to call it in the clubhouse, is that one of the reasons the Savis is not here, or was it purely a baseball move, Larry? Because I'm, I'm, I'm thinking if there was one guy that might go off the rails and break from the, from the pack and, and, and bring some negativity in there, it might have been Alfredo. Well, I don't want to talk um, um, publicly about the personnel decision like that. Uh, ben Charrington and John Farrow spoke with him privately mm-hmm. yesterday in the clubhouse about the uh, um, the move that was being made and the reasons uh, reasons for it. And I, I think it should uh, just leave it there. Uh, but I will say one thing, and that is that this is a game of uh, performance measurement. And you look at the, the way uh, people have, have uh, been, been performing, and not just by one example, but over a, a, a state period. Is there a trend that suggests that perhaps some kind of intervention or or mid-course correction is required? For more, visit weei.com slash video.